Franklin Pierce keeps the pucks in his own. Fires it and a glove save. And a glove save by Gavin Fitzpatrick. Number 10 skates it through the neutral zone. Skates it over the middle. Gets a puck on net, just missing wide. And the puck goes into the netting and out of play. Relentless with the forecheck. And number 29 with the shot, and he scores! Two minute put. Number 10 comes in on the 10 minute pass over. And it's going to be the shot blocked by the defenseman. It's checked there. Number five. Dave Jacobs, and he got a breakaway attempt. Here he comes. Number 18, he scores! Nolan Fitzpatrick ties the game up for Stone Hill College. It is tied at 1 1. Franklin Pierce is number 27. Tries to pack it up, and he gets completely shocked. What a check there. 16 comes in, fires it up ahead, and he scores! Ryan Gorbett to breaks it up. Number 20 comes on the right wing side. 20, passing it up ahead, and he scores! Number nine's got the puck now, passing it up ahead through the neutral zone, and we got a breakaway attempt, and a save made by Kyle Martin. Number 10 passing it down low, the 28. Super pass, he scores! H, passing it up the head to number 10, Brendan Neymar. And he scores! Number 15, Josh, Josh Loveridge. Loveridge skates it, fires, scores! Joshua Loveridge! Number 14, in the breakaway attempt, here we go, number 10, fire save made! Wow! Seven tries to fire the puck on that, and that's going to do it. Stonehill College with a comeback win over Franklin Pierce after trailing 2-1 at the end of the first period. Stonehill College comes back to win this game 5-3. Uh, yeah, I mean, we played two games last weekend, and it, it just wasn't quite there. We weren't clicking. We weren't moving as a team. Uh, I thought both games this weekend we were way better on the four check. We are just working synchronized as five guys, whereas last weekend it wasn't really working. We were, couldn't break pucks out, and we were just getting pucks deep, getting on it hard, and making it was hard to play against us this weekend. Uh, I mean, we kind of we went back to the drawing board a little bit on the power play this week in practice. It wasn't working last week. Worked on a few things positionally and looking at lanes, and... Uh, it worked out for us this weekend. We hope to keep it rolling. Yeah, I mean, the, the road games next week are huge, but uh, this weekend was was huge. I mean, it's so hard to, to get these wins back. I mean, later on in the year, it's it's hard to make up games, so starting off 2-0 and is, is really big and something we're really striving to do this year, uh, even in preseason. Yeah, uh, good two wins tonight. First, uh, Franklin Pierce last night against Assumption. Good to come out of the gate hot with two wins. We just stuck to our game and got it done. Uh, our power play has been really good tonight, especially. Finally been able to move it around and capitalize on it. So our special teams has been good. The PK has been good. We've been just sticking with the process, and it's paying off. Uh, it's huge. Uh, it's big for the confidence. It sets the pace for the rest of the season. So it's, it's huge to go start conference play with two wins. Yeah, it'd be huge to go up 4-0 uh, against St. A's next weekend, two away games. Uh, it'll be big if we can get those wins, so we'll hope to get out there and get it done. Yeah, it was great. You know, last night we got off to a fast start, and, uh, you know, uh, Assumption chipped back and uh, tied us up, and then we won it late. So it was great. Our guys, even after the last night's game, fought back and, and got the victory at the end. Tonight we came out again. We came out a little bit slow. Um, felt we didn't get through the neutral zone very quickly or move pucks up ice. Um, made some adjustments in between the uh, first and second period with getting pucks up ice. Really worked. I thought uh, team speed developed up ice and uh, we, we really got a lot of shots on net and, and established some great offense. Our power play was phenomenal. So, uh, you know, starting out the, the season in our conference, uh, our power play has been tremendous. Our penalty kill has been tremendous. So, it, it, you know, it's something that we want to build upon uh, going into next weekend. I mean, uh, I mean, goaltending so far has been solid. Uh, Johnny Day yesterday and uh, uh, Gavin Fitzpatrick today, both solid in net. And then, uh, you know, the, the senior leadership um, up front with uh, Chuck Page and um, Mike Zion, they've been great. 
uh, along with uh, Brendan Niemer and uh, John Peloso. I mean, those guys have been, been awesome for us. Um, you know, they've, they've, they've got the most games under their belt, uh, with, along with Teddy McElhaney on the back end. So they've been the leaders, uh, leading by example. And like I said, we've got a lot of uh, players, freshmen this year and sophomores last year, essentially all freshmen. So uh, they're all buying into the system and, and we're getting better every day. Yeah, it's going to be tough. You know, it's, uh, it's not a home and away series. Uh, both games are up there at St. A's. So again, we just got to go in there um, and compete and just stick with our process and keep trying to get better.